All right, guys, how's it going? My name is Blazedout1134, and this is my Mew3 box deck list. Now, there's a couple uh, things about it that are different than the usual Mew3 uh, box deck list. I have had a couple people come into my Twitch stream and talk to me about it, ask me some of the decisions I've made, why I made them, and kind of what I think about the meta uh, with the deck, how it fits in overall with it, and the results at Sheffield. So we'll just kind of jump into it. We'll go over some cards I think are really good that are underappreciated. And um, some text I think you can add in for the future that we may see at the upcoming regional um, and start to get a little bit more popular as things go on. And then I'll talk about some cards that are not in my list that could be in my list uh, that I think are just very fine. Very good cards. They're just not in my list. <clears throat> the first card that people ask me about is Lugia. Um, the reason I like Lugia is because the sidekick and the... Uh, the blade attack really are not that great at all. You would hardly ever use them. Lugia is there for Lost Purge. And it's mostly there for either they go first and they don't, they can set one mon and they can't set another one, which is very common in Espeon. And it's very common in Reshi Zard. Not, uh, Green Zard, not Ability Zard. So it's common in quite a few decks to only have one mon and pass turn. <clears throat> but you have 270 health, so it's unlikely to get knocked out. Well, this gives you an option to end the game. Lost Purge ends the game. It's also really good against um, the Malamar matchup. You can remove Giratina and his three energy, and it's really hard for them to come back. Now, that is a very big risky play, so I don't always recommend it, but it does have a spot. And against Pinkerum, if they move all their energy to Choo Choo, you can then Lost Purge it. They lose Choo Choo, their six energy, and this it's almost impossible for them to rev back up. So it does have a place. I do think it's very good. Um, it's it's niche. It's not something you should just use uh, all the time. I've used it in the abilities are matchup. If they were to get four energy, and I know they have welder in hand for the next turn to double blaze GX knock me out. I'll use it then sometimes to uh, give me a chance to get caught back up in the matchup. As it is a very po I do think it's the worst matchup for us. Um, then the Ganadel. It's not the back row. It's, um, some people are cutting the card, and I cannot understand why, uh, but I have found a lot of good uses for it, especially with Keldeo becoming more popular, and we'll get to that later. Uh, another tech that a lot of people ask me about is my Blacephalon. And he's in the deck as a style method. Um, if we were to get one energy, but we're missing our welders, our bills, or whatever cards we're missing, and we just can't get going, well, Burst and Burn is a good way to style out a match. Uh, most Mew 3s don't have a way out of the confusion without a switch that slows their deck down dramatically. Green Zar does not have a way out without Greens using Mixed Herb, a Pika Rum. A lot of decks have a hard time getting around it. And with a lot of the one prize cards coming, the one prize decks coming in more to the meta, the Burst GX is becoming a lot better as a way just to end games against Pidgeotto Hand Control uh, and Behem Item Lock. Because they lock you at like one to two prizes. And that just gives you a way to just scoop it in the game. Mind Blown's good, but it's for a situational. I would not recommend it unless you absolutely have to use it. Um, for whatever reason that may be, but I would not use it often. Uh, my cargo is fantastic. Um, I've only used the Burning Magma GX once, uh, but he's here for the Lava Flow. He just does so much damage. You can hit, hit him face Charizard 300 and then hit him with 300 again. With his flower bliss. He's kind of self explanatory. He's your answer to uh, Red Shizars in any kind of ma matchup. Uh, the Dene, I run three. I know some people have cut it down to two. That's up to you. I like three um, because it really saves you if you brick. And that doesn't happen often with the deck, but it does happen. And it's just a good consistency method to get out. Uh, so Galios, to reset my energy with Turbo Strike. Um, the Isis Espeon is a fantastic snipe. It's excellent in the Malamar matchup. That's really where it shines in the Malamar matchup. Uh, I've used it a lot in the Quagnag matchup. Uh, that's where this card shines, is with its GX attack. Now, the Giratina, G the Giratina baby is, you know, popular via the Malamar, but I think the card has a lot of uh, value in this deck as a way to overcome the Keldeo style. And a way to put 10 damage on the back row for your Deoxys Espeon to finish the game for you. Uh, that's very important in a lot of matchups with like 60 HP Mons. 
Um, you can use it, the, the Oxus Espion, you can knock out two Pidgeys. Instead of just doing the normal one prize trade, you do two. And it's really unexpected for them. Uh, I think this card will get a lot more popular. It really saves you in the Quagmire matchup. It is because Keldeo cannot one kit shot it. And so you can hit Keldeo, he hits you back, you knock it out. Uh, Keldeo would have to burn a GX attack to knock it out, and you can just bring it back. And he loses the prize trade because it's a 1 to 2. So it's very good in the Quagmire matchup. Very, very good. Uh, Jirachi is to protect the bench. Uh, very self explanatory. He's there for his ability only. Um, Latios GX. Um, Tag Purge is still really good. It's not used as much. Um, I know some people are starting to cut this card, but I just don't think it's worth it because Clitter Vision really can save your life in certain matchups um, against like Reshi's Art and things like that. You can Clitter Vision against Green's Art, and then you can just start Tag Purge. And they're only out at that point is Power Plant. But if you set Lady Else up, he can come in because he with Power Plant he doesn't have the four or fewer uh, ability. So I think he's really good in that matchup. That's probably his best matchup. But I do have a lot of value out of him still. Uh, Marshadow's here to uh, once per turn. Um, you can discard him and knock out the stadium and throw out to Power Plant. It's very good. Red Knuckles is good against the uh, the Ganadels that are coming up because it does 70 damage. And since it has weakness, he can knock out the Ganadel. That's very important. It's not used often, but it is very important. And then I run, of course, the four Mew Mews. Um, wonderful card. I mean, he's the bread and butter of the deck. We do his GX attack. I'm um, not his GX attack, but his ability perfection. Uh, wonderful. I love playing him because it's like playing a little bit of every deck, and it's very high skill level, scale based uh, deck. It's not as straightforward as some others. Now, a lot of people adjust their trainers, and this is where a lot of you know ideas come from. So we're running three acrobots. A lot of people run four. I like three. I I played four. And I was never in a game where I was like, dang, man, I wish I had my fourth Acrobat. Uh, four Cherish Balls, because we have to have it with all of our GXs. Four Custom Catchers, that wins you games. There's no other way around it. It wins you games. Uh, I run one Fire Crystal. <clears throat> a lot of people are running the in uh, using the Energy Recycle System. That's up in there. I think both are perfectly fine. Uh, depending if you're running the one water, um, what your build is, I think both are perfectly fine. Uh, I like Fire Crystal because it just comes back to my hand. Uh, three Mysterious Treasures. Now, I have played around with four, and I never needed four, right? Like, I almost always see it at, th at three. You know, you have a one in 20. Statistically, you should see it in one in every 20 cards at three. Um, so you're very likely to see it early, uh, but since it has such limited options for you to search, and I usually only use two Mew Mews all game, threes at the most, um, it's good, but I don't think it's worth four, not with Cherish Bow on the deck as well. Uh, Poke Gear is at three. Now, I would like to get this to four. I just haven't found out how I would like to get it to four yet, um, but I do think it is worth getting to four. Um, now, this is probably... <clears throat> One of the biggest controversies with my deck is a lot of people tell me it has to be at four. Uh, some people recommend taking the Acrobat down to two. I think that's too low. Mysterious Treasure down to two. I think that's too low. Or cutting one of my Muns, such as Lugia or Bocephalon, and that just kind of, I think, hurts my matchup. So at the moment, I think three, it's okay. Uh, we run two Switch. Uh, I think two Super Scoops is just as good. I don't see anything wrong with that. Um, if that's what you prefer. The stadium line is pretty standard. Uh, two Giant Hearth, one Viridian Forest. I know a lot of people do 2-2 two, two, or 3-1. I would as well, but I run Lissandre's Labs. And a lot of people are probably wondering why I do that. Uh, I've run into a lot of Gar uh, Garnivor Gardevoirs lately. Um, with the Furry Charms, this gets over that. It allows me to knock them out, and it just allows me to have a way to win that matchup. Especially if they use the Psychic Charm, because me and Giratina cannot hit them. And it puts us in a really tough spot. That just gives us a way over it. And uh, it also really works good in the abilities art matchup. Because they can't Jirashi a skateboard over and over and over. And I, so I found great, great use out of it. Another card that I'm using that no one else uses, I, to my knowledge, is Coach. Uh, a lot of people use Bills. And I think Bills is perfectly fine. A lot of people use Hapu. I think Hapu is perfectly fine. 
The reason I use coach is because out of every time I've ever used it, I've probably only used it for two cards once or twice out of probably 15, 20, 30 games. I probably only used it for two cards twice. You almost always have Mew Mew on the board. You play it, you get four. The way I look at it is Bills looks at seven, you pick two. Coach Trainer gets you four, you just don't see the last three. I think that's more value. Bills can miss. Late game Coach Trainer cannot miss. That's super important. I like Haipu because it discards your GXs, but it can discard crucial, crucial item cards to win you games. Uh, of course, the four welders, best card in the format. And then we're running the 8-3 split. I think that is the ideal split. Uh, unless you're doing some other things uh, such as water. Now, some cards I think that are good, that um, could be in the deck. Uh, I just not play. I just don't play them. The first one being the Baby Mewtwo. <clears throat> I think this card is excellent. If I took out Lugia or Bocephalon, this is who I'd put in. Uh, when you play him on the bench, you get to add a supporter card to the top of your deck. It adds Welder back to the top of your deck or the Coach Trainer. It really, really is a fantastic card to combo with Acrobike or Poke Gear. It's phenomenal. I think the card is excellent. I just don't run it at the moment because I didn't. I didn't have the value of the bench space, I felt like. Um, but I do think the card is excellent. I have no issue if that's what you decide to run. The other card I've been seeing people run is the Skrinita GX because his Miss Slash gets through um, Fairy Charm, gets through Keldeo, it gets through everything with, it, with his attack. And when you run him, you do have to run one water. I tried this build out. I played probably 15 games with it. I went probably... 10 and 5, 11 and, 11 and 4. I had a really good record. The games I lost, I lost horrible. Like it was awful because I bricked. Because you do have to replace two cards. One of them being an energy with a water energy or a rainbow energy. And the other one being a monster or a Pokemon. And that's just tough to deal with. That's a lot of consistency you're getting rid of. And then the issue at that point was if I went against the Keldeo matchup. Uh, and he was in the in the um, the prize or the water was in the prize I had no way to beat Keldeo because there's not a lot of room to pick the Giratina and stuff like that in there so that's a card I think is good this is a card I think is really good that I would definitely try to play now I have seen some people um, start to play where is he at where is he at Siglyph. I've seen some people play Siglyph as a mirror counter. They put it up against Keldeo. Keldeo cannot get over it unless Keldeo just wants to, unless Keldeo sacrificed Keldeo for it. That's interesting. It's an it's an interesting idea. I've tried it, but it's a little too niche for my liking. But it is interesting. It is good. The other card I've seen people like to play. I've seen people play a poison variation of Mewtwo. Decent, but I think. With the damage wrap up, you're just not doing enough damage fast enough in this hard in this uh, heavy hitting meta. And the last card I've seen that a lot of people heat ran's kind of good. Flareon, I've seen a lot of people. I've seen some people play Flareon. I do think this card is good, uh, especially with this heat stage. As like, let's say you open up with a lot of energy, but you open up with welder. Well, heat stage can still rev you up to four. That's very good. And then Bright Flyer is a good 190 hit. Um, those would be the those would be the cards I would consider adding to the deck if I was going to make some changes. Uh, another one being the Bills, the Hapu, the Trainers are really preference. Um, there's a lot you can do there. There's a lot I think is good. Um, but let me know what y'all think in the comments. Hit the subscribe button if you're liking this content. We are going to be uploading a video of me playtesting this deck. Um, pressure on two or three games just to show you guys what I think about it, what it feels like, how it plays. Um, as always, you can catch me online on twitch.tv slash blaze1134. Uh, I stream there every day with tons of Pokemon content, this deck and other decks. Um, but thank you all so much for watching.